I'm on the stage right now, singing your favorite song. Look in the crowd, even know where to be found as they. A few moments later, Donovan did not want to have an Instagram. You know why? Because he was ducking baby mama number two. That's why he didn't have any social media. So, but I caught you being sneaky. Like, why do you have an attitude? And I caught you being sneaky. Like, boy, bye. Right? So, his phone is literally sitting there on the charge. And I said, very bold of you so i picked her up and i threw her as far as i could off the balcony because i said guess what sir i paid the fucking phone bill so if anybody's not gonna have a phone it's going to be you but since i don't have a phone we're both not gonna have a phone so the only way to get into it is to all the way just go ahead and get into it so last march i had posted the video on instagram i'm gonna put a screenshot over here um of when i was pregnant and i had told my husband underneath the post like there were some girls who started to go back and forth about how he has a three-year-old that he doesn't take care of so i'm like you know okay like maybe they're talking about his older child that's seven because he does have an older child that's seven and i'm like okay but the age is off and so but they're going back and forth and then a girl who insinuates herself to be or who insinuated that she was the child's mother says oh you know i hope our kids can meet one day I go to her page. I see that she has a child on there. And so, you know, I'm showing him pictures of the girl. I'm like, do you know any of them? He's like, no, never seen them a day in my life. He's swearing up and down. He's never seen any of these people before. He swears that they're like, must be affiliates of his baby mama of the seven year old, like just trying to troll. And he even gets mad. He's like, you know, people are always trying to ruin my happiness. Like I'm just trying to move on with my life. And people are always trying to be in the way and stop me from being happy. And he's like, just block them, just block them. So I go ahead and I blocked them because I'm like okay like that is weird because I really didn't think it was the first baby mom and I was like it's weird that they wouldn't know the you know age of her child but I was like okay blocked so a couple of months go by and it's June and for some reason this girl is still on my brain so you know how it is you know we go we make our little fake TikToks or whatever and she finally has her Instagram link to her TikTok so I of course, I'm like hype, like okay, like I'm really about to see who this girl is because she didn't really have much on her TikTok. So you know, I click on the Instagram and see that the girl is already following me. So I'm like, what? Like, so I'm looking at the girl page. She went to college. Her son is cute. Like, it's really giving like normal. Like, why would she say something like that? So again, I remember he had just went and picked up some. So you know, he's sitting there doing his little thizzle. So I'm like again do you know this girl this man say on the man above i don't know her never seen her a day in my life he was like just block her like why are we still on that and he was like, i told you that's my baby mama's people like just block it and so i'm like okay i said but why is she already following me on instagram like that's that's different and he's like just block her so i don't know what made me do it but before i went to block her i clicked the messages and that girl sent me a message the day after my wedding so i'm like not the day after my wedding and y'all the longest and sweetest message where she pretty much was like i'm not trying to ruin your nuptials donovan i'm not trying to ruin your life but you know i've been trying to get a hold of you for child support and you know like i'm tired of pretty much doing this on my own like come and be a dad to your kid I'm like again you don't know her he's like oh my mama i never seen that girl day in my life oh my mama and i said so it sound like baby got her y'all seen the video if i played it at the beginning she got her light skin pookie you know she seems to be uh you know minus the the wig she got on she seems to be a fairly attractive woman she just need to take that shit off her head but um you got you a light skin pookie I'm not saying, I mean, you can be a functional adult and smoke, but if you're smoking weed all day long, you know, I don't know how constructive you are. I mean, you can make all the, you know, say, well, GR, I smoke from sunup to sundown. Uh, you know, hey, if you're getting it done, get it done, man. But, uh, and she listens too. He says, block them. She blocks them. Most women be like, I ain't blocking or might lie and say, but she does all that. And you, especially if a woman says that she has a baby by your husband right has a baby by your husband already following you already seeing what's going on my thing is they like if you know if you know buddy's name you know all this stuff like that you know a lot of times it is pretty easy
to track down some folks, especially if you got their information. What I mean by that is in terms of child support, you know what I'm saying? Unless she's just like, I don't want to take him to child support court. But anyway, man, let's let's get back to it. Let's see what, what else is happening here. Let's go. Okay. I'm just going to ask her for the proof. So I asked her for the proof. She sends me a whole text thread. Mind you, she got pictures of this man in her phone from like when they was talking back in 2019. And this was before I met him. So he really has no reason to lie about it. But anyway so like she sends me the proof and i literally say so this is not you pretending to acknowledge this child is yours talking about hey little man how's my little man doing so that's not you acknowledging that this child is yours y'all y'all know this man looked at me and said that he got hacked i said who the fuck would pretend to be you yeah you work at Enterprise, and from the sounds of it, you have two children. Who would pretend to be you to pretend to be someone's baby daddy? It doesn't make any sense. Like, and this is the first major lie that he's ever told. So I'm low-key appalled that he would, like, look at the face of the truth, like, with the receipts, and say that he got hacked. I am, like, shocked and appalled that he would say. So it ended up just being a snowball effect of, like, so many lies that I did not know. And mind you, that was just the first one. There are so many events that occurred after this that's like what in the entire fuck so of course you know i do the responsible thing i asked the girl like what does she need you know she's like oh i need his job information like his name birthday all of that stuff so that way i can go ahead and do what i have to do with child support so i go ahead and give her that information so she can do what she got to do and so then i how long did you know the dude before? i guess she was just like i let him clap the cheeks i just needed to know his first name and the fact that he just, you know, he smokes, I smoke, that's good enough for me. I don't need to know nothing else about Buddy or whatever. I'm pregnant and all that. I'll be, wow, wow. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so we need to be responsible. Why did you lie about the child? And he's swearing up and down. Oh, my mama, I swear to God, that child not mine. Like, the reason why I never told you about that child, because I really don't believe that child is mine. Like, it was a one-time thing. Like, I remember for a fact I wore a condom. I remember for a fact, actually, I didn't even come. Like, he even took it that far, y'all. But he said, but on my mama, I swear that's not my kid. Like, I don't even think for a second that's my kid. He was like, in 2019, she had my, gar my wages garnished at the VA, and I had to get a lawyer to stop her from taking my wages. And after that, he said, I never heard from her again. So I just thought maybe she went and found her daddy. And so I said, okay, so we're going to do what we have to do to go ahead and get a paternity test. And so the paternity test ended up being scheduled for, like, December 6th. And so we're gonna get there but before we get there we had another hiccup and roadblock along the way so fast forward to october the week of my birthday october 3rd um that thursday i went in for my regular uh baby checkup and i found out that there was no fetal movement so of course they're like you know there's not a heartbeat and at the time i was eight months so they were like you know you have to be admitted over at texas women's when i was admitted that thursday that friday they induced me early that morning and so around 3 p.m i had asked him to go get me a sprite from mcdonald's because y'all know you know mcdonald's might be really like and so i was like go get me a sprite from mcdonald's he went supposedly to get a sprite he said he was going to freshen up he was going to so he was going to do all of that and be back in a timely fashion right this was at 3 p.m this man pulls up to the hospital at 11 30 p.m well i've been there all day crying myself to sleep all day at least from 3 p.m to 11 right it doesn't take that long to go get a freaking sprite and to freshen up mind you when he comes into the door of the you know the maternity room i can smell the hennessy it's so freaking strong right comes in and he gets all the way undressed like down to his drawers like all the way undressed and you know how they usually have a recliner in the baby room he pulls the recliner over next to the bed and he's like messing up the iv knocking pills off the table because he's being so obnoxious trying to get the chair next to the bed so he gets the chair next to the bed and leans all the way back puts as far as the recliner will go and put the cover over his head and proceed to go to sleep or he thought so i literally say are you fucking kidding me and he gets up he's like man man what i said are you drunk and he says no 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 i only had a couple shots and i said first off why have you been drinking at all and why are you just not getting back at 11 30 and i said and put some clothes on so he's like oh i'm sorry i'm sorry he put on his clothes and i'm like so where did you go him talking about oh i went to my uncle's house like you know i don't have nobody to talk to because mind you he's beefing with his whole family red flag but he don't have no real supports outside of this like 
Y'all notice these things all the time, right? So there's no red flags. All this stuff she's talking about, he's beefing with his family. The fact that this guy is all of a sudden, you know, and I, from my understanding, she said that she was dating ballers and all these dudes in Atlanta based off what I gather from her TikTok and that she was really, she was really that chick in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? She was, you know, dealing with all the, all the, all the, all the, all the big boys out there. So you get with this guy, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a struggle dude. He seems like a, he's on pookie time. He goes out to get you pregnant. He marries you. He's got all these issues and you didn't know anything. I don't know how long you knew, just like the last girl he was with, how long you knew this guy, but here you are airing this stuff out. You know what I'm saying? And talking about he's hanging with the uncle, not getting you the stuff, you in the hospital, he's going all day. This is just new behavior, I'm assuming. But let's get back to it though. 50 year old drug dealing uncle that he had so he's like yeah like i was over at my uncle's house he told me to come over and i said so your 50 year old uncle told you to come over instead of you coming home to be with your wife swearing up and down he went to his uncle's house and they just had a couple shots and i said yeah go ahead and pour it up for your dead baby i'm like so how tragic is it that you know you needed your uncle more than i needed you like what a shame you needed your uncle more than i needed you in the whole three years that we've been together, there has never been a time that I needed you like right now. And for you to fold like that, him to have folded after like I have held him down through two stints of joblessness. Cause at that point, I'm like, at this point, nigga, like it's not like you're in between jobs, you're jobless. Like you can't keep a job. Held you down through two stints of that, and I said, there will not be a third. Held you down through the fact there that you did not make a lot of money. Was super patient with that. Held you down with the simple fact that I was still willing to roll with the punches when we found out about the second baby moms. Y'all, it really just got worse. So stay tuned. For you know, as expected, you know, I'm super depressed after the miscarriage. I was actually more depressed than what I let people around me know that i was at this point we're in december so you know that we went down to dallas we did the dna test at the on the 6th and they told us that she had until the 15th to present her son for dna as well mm -hmm. and that we would be getting the results right so at that point we had no other option but to wait for the dna right so we're gonna move forward to like the day after christmas i was riding with him while he was going to go get his we in the car and you know how like somebody goes like swiping out their apps real quick, but you catch a glimpse of it. And I caught enough of a glimpse to see it was Instagram. So I said, you made an Instagram? And he said, no, 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 no. And I said, who Instagram you on? And he said, I'm on your Instagram. I said, okay, what were you looking at on Instagram? And this man gonna say, Kim K. So you looking at Kim K on my Instagram? Okay. You already know, like, so you saying that you looking at Kim K on my phone. Let me see. But you know, niggas are really slow. So when I initially had saw him, like, you know, scrolling up, trying to close out the apps, I saw that the uh, Instagram that he was on only had two bubbles at the top. Indicating what you only follow two people. I follow more than two people. I follow a lot of people. So I'm like, there's no way he's on my Instagram. So of course I'm like, let me see. And that boy, he was trying to move to close them apps, but he didn't close them quick enough. So I snatched the phone, looking at the phone and I said, oh, Dre underscore O'Connor. You have an Instagram. Why would you say you're on my Instagram? He's like, uh, I, didn't think, I didn't want you to think that I was doing nothing. Uh, I only made an Instagram because I heard my homeboy John got killed. See, so one thing I notice here, she keeps referring to the fact that he smokes. And I guess maybe you're trying to make him look bad because he smokes, you know, but you got what to do knowing he was a smoker. And I'm assuming you was paying for all this stuff. You held him down to two stints, which, Jerry, she's supposed to hold me down if I lose my job. She's, she's the woman. I'm the man. You you probably pay, was paying for his habit and all this stuff. You know, and it's, you know, unfortunately that happened to you. You had the miscarriage, but you stuck beside this dude. You know, the, we waiting for the results or whatever, which you went through with that after all this time to get these results. And, uh, he's on your Instagram. Why is he on your Instagram? I guess y'all have that type of relationship where he just goes through, which you hear a lot of people say, well, I, I don't have a social media, but I use my spouses to search stuff and stuff like that. But Hey, do your thing. But uh, this is this is getting very interesting. It's giving whole pookie vibes, but baby, you can't say that 
you didn't know or nobody didn't tell you that this dude was a, a pookie. He, anyway, let's let's get back to it, man. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to find John. So you know me. Immediately go to like taking pictures with my phone of like, you know, the follow list of like the front page. Because I'm like, I'll just go look at that stuff later. But I just want it for my own personal reference now. He's swearing up and down and he mean nothing. And so the minute I was like about to go to the messages on the Instagram to look, right? He snatches his phone away from me. And I'm like, why'd you take the phone if you don't have nothing to hide? He like, man, because you're doing the most right now. You're doing the most. I said, how I'm doing the most, but you made a whole Instagram and I don't even know about it. And I have Instagram. Everybody and their mama have Instagram. It's not a crime to have Instagram. I go to call my mom because I'm like... This man is trying to make me feel like I am crazy. Like, why would you make an Instagram, lie about it, say you're on my Instagram looking at Kim K, and then, mind you, from what I saw in the search bar, you're looking for late night freaks in Houston. So, mind you, I'm trying to call my mom, and this man literally take my phone out my hand, throws it out the window on I-10, throws my phone out the window, and was just like, you don't need to be talking to nobody. And was like, dead serious. So now, like, I go nuts. Like, I'm living because I'm like, how dare you throw out a $1,200 phone that you cannot even afford to replace? You literally make $1,600 every two weeks. The phone is $1,100. You literally cannot afford to replace it. And you know all of my is on my phone. All of my business stuff is on my phone. Literally everything that I do is on my phone. So you will throw my livelihood out the window and not care. So I'm livid. So I'm going off in the car all the way home. So we get all the way home, right? He jumps out the car, right? And leaves the car like running. And jumps out like just trying to beat me in the house. Like just like on some real like childish type stuff. And so it's like the minute he reached the door because I'm standing outside the car. We both realized at the same time that he didn't have like the house keys. And so, you know, I jump back in the car and I drive off because, like, I'm pissed. Like, why the fuck would you throw my phone out the window? So I leave and I go to my friend's house that's around the corner. Have him take me back to the apartment later on after I feel like things have calmed down. And mind you, nobody cares that he has an Instagram, right? Because everybody and their mom has an Instagram. But donovan did not want to have an instagram you know why because he was ducking baby mama number two that's why he didn't have any social media so again nobody was cracking down on him for having an instagram he could have made the instagram after baby mama number two came forward he could have made the instagram and just went about his life but no he was doing something sneaky on the instagram right anyway i pull off in the car and i have my homeboy like I like literally go to his leasing office because I don't even have a phone. I tell them to call his apartment. And he answers. He comes down to get me. He's like, whoa, what happened? I'm like, you're not going to believe this nutbag just threw my phone out the window. Like he's fucking crazy. So we literally chill out for a little bit. And I go back later over there to get some clothes. When I'm still going back over there, this man on the phone, like speakerphone with his uncle, like going off like he the victim. Like I really did something to him. And I'm like, but I caught you being sneaky. Like, why do you have an attitude? And I caught you being sneaky. And on top of that, you were being sneaky, according to you, for absolutely no reason. Because if you wanted to get on Instagram to see about your dead friend, John, you literally could have just gotten on my Instagram to do so. Or just said, babe, add me on Instagram. I got a gram. And nobody would have said shit. No, that's not what happened. You're being sneaky, which you guys are going to find out in the next part what the fuck he was really doing. Little friend Ryan is with me, and it's important to know that he's gay, only for the simple fact that I felt that that's probably why donovan tried him okay so what happened was you know of course we came in the house he's on the phone with his uncle trying to act like he a victim and i'm trying to figure out like so you this dude like i said it's hard to believe when women be saying this that this dude didn't showcase any of this stuff i mean this pookie is like a he's a struggle pookie kind of also because he's getting real butt hurt instead of you know Getting on his on his alpha pookie. What I say goes, baby, and that's what just what it is. And she would have wanted you more. But you really acting like you 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 acting like a beta pookie instead of an alpha pookie, which ain't really too cool. You know what I'm saying? Even though women like this type of stuff, it, she they love the emotional roller coaster. You making sixteen hundred dollars a month, which I'm assuming is through your VA, maybe disability or something. Or whatever. You can't hold down a job. You don't want to work, and that's a lot of these dudes when they got a woman like this. That's just what happens. But uh, they're willing to work with these type of dudes. But you, nah. You having a, a stable guy? Nah, they they like the thrill of this stuff. That's why she's making all these. And shout out to you, baby. I mean, I'm just reporting the news. You know what I mean? That's why you keep making this stuff because you want to, it's, it's, 
you want to you want to share and explain but women women just like these type of dudes and y'all be in the comments saying no we don't jr no we don't jr these are the type of women that haven't evolved anyway this dude throwing out phones this dude like how old are y'all at the end of the day man like he's not on social media he's ducking child support all this stuff like that and you still staying by his side i hear you baby you know you got a you got a gay bestie he comes into y'all spot and buddy's like whew, i don't know let's go man what's going on and so mind you i'm getting mad all over again just listening to everything that he's saying and then i'm just like the audacity for you to still have a phone and i don't have one so this man goes into the you know the bathroom packing up his little bag and stuff trying to act indignant to leave like boy bye right so he's doing all of that so his phone is literally sitting there on the charge and i said very bold of you so i picked her up and i threw her as far as i could off the balcony because i said guess what sir i paid the fucking phone bill so if anybody's not going to have a phone it's going to be you but since i don't have a phone we're both not going to have a phone so with that being said he comes out of the bathroom looking for his phone fucking tight as hell well guys we just going to leave this at a cliffhanger because i don't want this to be going on too far in this story you know what i mean if you guys want me to do a part two comment below let me know but this is prime pookie behavior women are in love they are infatuated with guys like this they love to tell these stories to their girlfriends and their gay besties and stuff like that so let me know if you want me to uh do part two but this is five episodes here <laughs> five parts i cover which i know this is gonna be a lengthy video but let me know and that way we'll find out you know stay tuned for next time where we'll find out you know what's was it his baby was it not his baby dun, 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 all that music anyway you know let me know like share comment and subscribe hit me up on link tree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly purchase all my books merch t-shirts helps to support the channel follow me on facebook instagram and tiktok with that being said much blessings and abundance stick a pop up on the screen below that's where i'm going to see you guys that is your favorite everything this is wisdom i'm out of here peace uh. Yeah. 50 cent. 50. Part two. Bring it back. Uh. Yeah. Can't forget Tony. 50. UK.